everybody it's Katie and today I am giving you another rush review and that book is going to be Dead Set by Richard Kedry. I read this book kind of on a whim. I was looking at my bookshelf and went well this book looks interesting I'll do this right now. Really glad that I did. Uh, I gave this book a four out of five stars on Goodreads and I recommend it if you are looking for something that is on the paranormal, horror, supernatural side. This book was not what I thought it would be. Here is what the, uh, the back says. For three straight nights, Zoe dreamed about the black dog. It followed her through the empty streets of a strange city, trailing after her, but never getting quite close enough to be threatening. It just watched. The funny thing was that these dreams weren't like regular ones. She was almost never alone when she dreamed because Valentine was always there. But there was something different about the black dog dreams, something that made her not want to talk to them. Zoe had plenty of secrets in the real world, but she never kept one from her dreams before. It was depressing because it meant that in the end, she wasn't safe anywhere. Uh, when I read that book I, and looked at the cover, I definitely had the impression that um, the black dog was a good thing. Um, it, because that's normally what happens when you read uh, paranormal and sci-fi. Uh, dogs tend to be like a guiding force and I was very much surprised. Um, this book, a quick summary of it that I'm going to try to make non-spoilerly and then I'll have a spoilerly section afterwards is about a girl named Zoe whose father passes away suddenly and she and her mother are struggling to get back on their feet. Um, they lose the house, they have to change schools, they have to move and Zoe's life is just kind of thrown up into the air and she doesn't know what to do anymore. Um, she is a former self-abuser and the fact that she used to cut herself. She used to see therapists for it. Um, and so she kind of has this uh, self-deprecating aspect to her in her self-view. Um, she gets skips school one day and comes across a record store where she just wants to look around and escape some things but she finds a secret room in the back and that opens the door to everything that happens a hardcover and this is what it looks like naked it's very it's pretty very fitting um, so that is the non-spoiler section. Um, I'm going to go into some of my feels about certain aspects of this book now. So this is now the spoiler-esque section. Um, there were some things that were really left unresolved. Uh, some things that I really wanted to know, like, um, Amit, when he attacked her at the end of the book and then just kind of disappeared that I'm I'm kind of interested like I don't know if this is a series or not it definitely doesn't feel like a series but that was definitely something that wasn't closed um, I also want to know what was going on with all of the um, wanting a tooth and wanting blood and wanting tears and wanting hair um, things along those lines that was very creepy uh, and wasn't explained as thoroughly as I would have liked it to have been. Um, and Valentine just gave me so many feels, both when they were in Epigene and when they were in her dreams at the treehouse. Just feels all over the place. It was a good book. Um, as much as there were things that were left Undone, there were also things that were almost too perfect in its ending. So, I, I guess it kind of balanced out. So there we go, that is a Rush Review episode of Dead Set by Richard Kedry. Uh, you can read my review that I posted about it on Goodreads. 
Uh, you can follow me on all my social media. I'm on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Goodreads, website. You can go there. Email me. Talk to me. If you have read this book, tell me what you thought about it in the comment section is below. If you have not read this book, tell me in the comment sections below if this sounds interesting to you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want more videos. Uh, quickly reviewing books such as this and others as well as longer reviews and other series that I am doing and I will see you in my next video. Insert my creative outro here and I will talk to you later. Bye!